New at 11, it's been a busy holiday weekend for lifeguards at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. This is a look at the crowds there this afternoon, of course, before the storms moved in. And we're told first responders have pulled more than 200 people out of the water since Sunday. It's a stunning number, especially considering we haven't even seen the busiest beach day of the year yet. Sarah Hammond joins us in the studio now. Sarah, 200 rescues. Why did so many people need saving? Well, like you said, I mean, those Virginia Beach lifeguards have been extremely busy and Tom Gill, who runs the Virginia Beach Life Saving Service, says surprisingly, it's not the rip currents pulling people out that are primarily causing this. The currents are pulling people laterally and as the ocean floor switches from sandbars to troughs, people are suddenly in very deep water without realizing it, including two 11 year olds who were rescued by the lifeguards this afternoon. What started as a relaxing and hot day on the beach suddenly got very scary for Travis Tessinier and Melody Ludwig. We were on the, um, the boogie board and it, we were trying to ride the waves and we didn't know we got so far. Ludwig says suddenly the water was above their heads. Like the water was pulling us under and we were trying to get back up on the boogie board and go back. That's when a lifeguard jumped into action to pull them to safety. Something Tom Gill says they've done more than 200 times since Saturday. That's a big number for us. Uh, that's not the norm. Of those 200 people, paramedics took three of them to the hospital for taking in a lot of water. Throughout all of last summer, Gill says they rescued just under 400 hundred people and had an extremely long stretch without red flags flying. This year we've had red flags up consistently and they're expecting to put them up again Tuesday. Gill says if you are coming to the beach for the 4th of July, make sure you keep an eye on your family and water conditions. Come on down. We're not telling you not to come here, but you see those red flags up. Go check in with the lifeguards. They're going to tell you the best places to swim and make sure that you're not going to put yourself in a dangerous situation. Tessinier says they're glad so many lifeguards were keeping an eye on them. I'm so Very. glad that they were like coming to get us. If there weren't, it would have been a different story. Lifeguards in the Outer Banks have also had a busy weekend. According to a social media post by the Chickamacomico Banks Fire Department, their lifeguards rescued 21 people over the weekend, 16 of them on Sunday alone. So bottom line, if you're heading to the beach tomorrow or any other day this summer, stay aware and stay safe. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Sarah.